In this lesson we want to attach our tentacle rig to our main body. Um, first of all, let's uh, make the tentacle splines invisible so that we don't have the disturbing lines here. We don't need them anymore. And let's take a look at this one. So I've put all the handles and the master spline in this null object which is called tentacle rig. And this is what we need to move upwards when our um, jellyfish moves upwards. To do this I will first of all take the axis tool and put the axis right at the top of our tentacles. So somewhere here. Disable axis mode again. And now I need a point where I can um, attach my tentacle rig to. So to do this I will go to perspective view and look at the uh, here from from bottom to the um, to the part here, which is called blob. So we have to open up brain and click on the blob. So this is uh, the part where I want to attach my tentacle rig, and I would like to attach it right here in the center at this uh, vertex. So I have to find out what index number this point here has. So I I will go to um, point mode, take the move tool, and just double click on this point and, and it will tell me that this is point number zero. So this is very good. We will go back to position where we can see everything. Maybe here. And open up our Expresso. So as we said earlier we want to try to put everything else into into the first um, Expresso tag we created. So this one here was for our master spline rig. So I will put this one into a next group and call it master spline rig. Give it a color, something like this. Okay, put it over here. Okay, so we need our blob um, and we need our tentacle rig and we also need a point node. So I want to read out the position of uh, point number zero. So I will create an output port for object, put this one into our point node, sorry, like this. And the point node is, if I click on point node, is now set to point index zero, so this is right. And this time I don't want to tell this point where he should be, I want to read out where this point is right now. So this is why we use this output here, the point position. So I will move my tentacle rig over here, create an input port, coordinates global position. And I will just connect the uh, the point position to the global position of my tentacle rig. So I will again look through my camera which I created earlier. Take a close look here and hit play. And we see that it somehow works but it's not right yet. So the tentacles are moving with our um, jellyfish but it's... Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, inside of our blob. So there are two two arrows right now. The first thing is if you click on the point node there's a checkbox under node which is called use deformed points. So our blob is deformed by a squash and stretch deformer. So right now we don't read out the position of the point after it's deformed with our deformer. Re we uh, read out the earlier position of the point before it got uh, deformed. So we need to check this one. So now uh, Expressor will tell us the position of this point after it's deformed with uh, this deformer. So we can rewind it. Rewind a few times. Hit play again. Now it looks much better, but you still see that we have a uh, delay of one frame in here. So the when it goes upwards, our tentacles are... Um, yeah, it's, it's just delayed by one frame. And this is again a priority issue. So we should rewind again few times till nothing moves anymore and then we should just copy our nodes here just select them all control C delete them 
and uh, we will go into our other setup which we created to read out the velocity stuff. And we can create an X group here later to name it. And I will just hit Control V to paste it in. I should zoom out a bit and it's down here. Bring it to here. Okay, and now we've put it into our other um, expressor setup. Maybe we should clean this one up right now. So we don't mess it up. So this one uh, is for the speed calculations. So we'll convert this one also to an X group. Speed calculations, which is orange. And this one down here. Um, I think I won't uh, put this one in an X group right now because it's so small. But you can do it if you want to. I will leave it like this. Um, and if we take now a look at our animation again, we see that we still have this uh, delay thing here. And this is a point where we have to handle um, our expression uh, our priority levels here um, So what we basically need to do uh, or the problem right now is our both tags are on the same priority level It worked for the calculation of the speed, but it doesn't work here and we need to fix this So uh, we want that the movement of our jellyfish is calculated first and after that we want to read out the speed and we want to pin our tentacles to um, to this object here, so this one here which was the initial setup for our uh, movement should be calculated first and the second one which reads out all this speed calculations and will place our tentacle rig on the position of this blob should be calculated uh, last. So I will just click on uh, this tag and type in priority 1. So now this tag is uh, calculated first because it's set on 0 and the second one is uh, calculated after that. And you see that now uh, the, del uh, the delay is gone. And our, if I don't move the camera while it's running, sorry for that. So now the delay is gone and it's fixed to the point. And if we can take a closer look from here. So the, it, it can happen that if you... Um, uh, rewind it and hit play again that it uh, jumps in the first frame because the history level looks in the <clears throat> in the frame before and if the uh, jellyfish was somewhere here and you um, rewind he will um, expresso will calculate this movement from here to here into one frame so this is uh, why you need to rewind a few times until nothing moves anymore hit play and then everything should work um, if you have problems, <coughs> sorry, if you have problems when you're rendering this stuff, uh, just uh, give Expresso like 10 or 20 frames in the beginning where no nothing happens and then everything uh, should look fine. So now we um, attached our rig, our master spline rig to our jellyfish and it looks really cool. And we can grab our, maybe collapse them here and we can grab our controllers and put them somewhere else. Uh, you can of course animate them so that it moves in a in a cool way and you can uh, make exactly the movement that you want to. And this is a nice combination of a dynamic rig which is driven by Expresso and by formulas and curves but you have also um, like manual controls where you can define the exact shape of your of your jellyfish. So this should be enough for this lesson and in the next lesson we will attach our strings here, the thin ones, and then we will finish this setup with a nice user interface.